Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to watch my blog. Uh, I was curious as to how I wanted to do this. Uh, I originally had something written out, but I didn't feel like it was me naturally speaking and I didn't want it to feel scripted. Uh, so the reason I'm doing the blog is about four years ago, I began to lose feeling in my shoulders. Uh, I worked out a lot. I swam competitively and was in the gym pretty frequently and then all of a sudden I just couldn't really work out. Couldn't really lift my arms that well. Had trouble doing anything longer than 10-15 minutes. Went to the doctor. Um, I had this happen a few different times. Each time I went, went through physical therapy, recovered, and everything seemed to be back to normal. After this happening a few times, I ended up falling asleep on my arm one night and woke up to my left arm being completely numb. Couldn't even lift it above my shoulder. Went to a doctor and was referred to a neurologist. The neurologist told me that I would have to do a nerve conduction study test. Took the test and realized I was only functioning at 30% of the strength in my hands and arms. Uh, never realized that up to that point I felt pretty normal aside from the weakness. Never really felt numbness. Uh, but I guess I was so used to it I didn't really know how to differentiate it between that and feeling my hands. Well, they told me I was going to have to have four surgeries to get feeling back into my hands. So, went and had the surgeries. Uh, came out, was tried to stay positive, and uh, I felt that I would be able to recover fairly quickly. Uh, didn't really work out that way. I still had issues in my hands, still had pain in my arms, and then I ended up started having issues with my feet after that. Uh, they ended up doing a blood test and come to find out that I have a hereditary disorder called hereditary neuropathy with liability to pressure palsies. Uh, it's normally referred to as HMPP for short. Um, it's a genetic disorder that causes neuropathy in your peripheral limbs. So pretty much any pressure, my hands, elbows, knees, can cause me to lose feeling. Uh, this caused me to become very depressed. I felt like I was kind of dealt a bad hand and didn't really know how to move forward after hearing that news. Uh, it caused me to spiral downward. I started feeling, uh, had feelings of self-doubt, hopelessness. Uh, I felt like I was more of a burden than providing anything to the world. Uh, there was at one point where I even considered committing suicide. Uh, it was a rough place for me. Luckily I had friends and family that were supporting me and I was able to luckily not follow through with any of the thoughts that I had. After I realized that this was going to be something I would have to deal with, I started reading. I figured maybe there's someone out there that's been through something similar. So, started reading, uh, read a few books, self-help books, and just stuff that I had throughout my house. Uh, started reading the Bible more, and a scripture that I came across that really helped was James 1, 2 through 4. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Um, that scripture really spoke to me. Uh, I always looked at my disorder as a hindrance. I never really thought anything positive would come out of me being in pain or not being able to do anything a normal 24-year-old should be able to do. Uh, but after reading that, I realized that I wanted to find some way to make something positive out of my disorder. Since then, I've continued reading, continued being on a path for learning and trying to develop myself personally so that way I can turn the experiences that I've gone through in my past into a positive resource for anyone in the future. Uh, I do not feel like I've overcome my disorder, but I feel like I now have a mindset to continue moving forward and use it as something positive instead of just feeling like there's no point to it. Uh, I appreciate everyone that has taken the time 
to watch this video. I hope to put out more in the future. I'm going to try and do them weekly. Uh, starting on January 17th, I'm going to be teaching a pain management and wellness class at Praise Assembly in Beaufort. Uh, if you or if you know anyone that you feel like could benefit from the class, feel free to comment below or let them know where it's going to be. Um, I'm going to try and do it around 6 to 6.30. And all right, I appreciate everyone again and have a good day.